guys, so we just got back home. It's almost 4.15 already. We left at like 12, so we've been gone a while. We went to Tractor Supply to look at chicks. We did not end up with any, but we are gonna be getting some soon, so that'll be coming for y'all. Um, but I had a package, a few packages come in. I got a new car seat for Cooper. He needs like a booster seat for my car. So, or for the truck, whenever we switch the insurance over. So, got that. And then Cooper's birthday shirt came in. So, it's for Blippi and it says Jonah Cooper. This came from the Gumdrop shop on Amazon. And I think it was like $15. But I sized it up to a... 5T. This looks like it fits a 4T. So definitely size up your shirts one or two. And then I forgot to cancel my cheek ball subscription. So they sent me three pairs because I forgot to cancel. So I'm going to have to go in and do that. But I thought I would show you all the ones that they did send me for the month because I did forget to cancel. They sent me a green pair and I don't know why they sent me thongs. I do not wear these, but it's okay. I'll use it, I guess. <laughs> it's just not something that I do wear and I don't think I ever put that in on the site. And I get a small and everything. I run like a true to size small, sometimes extra small. Now I like these. These are just like bikinis. I really like the material on these, but they sell this material at Walmart, which is why I was canceling my subscription. And then they sent me a black one with the string. I don't wear them, but I guess I will for something like leggings or something, but got those, got this in a car seat, and I'm going to show you all my Belks Bills haul used to be called um, Burke, not Belk, Burks, but now it's renamed Beals. I'm probably gonna always still call it Burks. <laughs> hey y'all, it is seven o'clock in the evening, Monday evening. Um, I still have not showed y'all my Burks haul, Beals haul, whatever you wanna call it. Um, I ended up falling asleep for a little while. Um, so, I was feeling kind of bad, like my whole body was just weak, so I needed a rest. So I lay down for like two hours and I'm still in the bed. So trying to work my way up to getting up because I want to get some cleaning done. That's my goal, but I may not get as much done as I want. So I still want to get a few things done. So I do have a, a Beals or a Burks haul um, that I will be doing in this video. And then I also have just a small tractor supply clearance haul for y'all. So. We will see what else gets done other than me showing you the hauls. So yeah. So it's 7.30. I just got up. Um, I was just feeling horrible. Just very weak. So just got up. I'm fixing to show y'all my Burks or Beals stuff. Um, and yeah. If you see my hair is a mess. I did take a nap, but Mason is in that hair pulling stage and he was laying in the bed watching TV and playing with one of his toys while I was laying there and he likes to grab onto my hair. So that's kind of why my hair looks a mess because he was pulling it out of my head and he's fixing to watch the Mickey Mouse. So here's the first thing. These are just some sunglasses. They're by the brand Nine West. I'm not sure the style number, if they have a style number, there's not one on here. Um, but this is just what they look like. Nick said he does not like them on me. But I like them just for summertime. These were $9.99, so I picked those up. I had a pair of Dollar Tree sunglasses, but I wanted to have a pair for Nick's vehicle and my vehicle, because I'll, or a pair for my purse and a pair for my vehicle, because I'm always losing things, and it's just good to have a backup pair in every vehicle you go in, especially living where we live. Um, these are the Nautica Crocs, Crocs that I got for Cooper. Actually, Cooper picked these out. He has not even worn them yet. He wore his other pair to his daddy's, but he got a PJ Masks pair I bought brand new at a garage sale for 25 cents like a year ago when I was pregnant with Mason. 
probably hasn't been a year. Um, but he wore through them that the front, because the PJ mask had plastic on the front, they busted. So he has this little pair now. And these were $9.99 and I got them in a size 10. These do run a little bit small. He's in, in a nine. And those are just good little play shoes for out in the yard. If it's not raining, he'll wear those. Um, I got one clothing item I'll show you in just a minute. And then I picked up this. I've been looking and on the hunt for a good body spray. I can never find something that I truly, honestly love. Um, so I picked this up to try out. Let's see. Yeah, the sunglasses were $9.99. Um, it's pink sugar and it's red velvet body mist. They had another one, I think a lemon or something. This smells like red velvet, it smells really good. I really like this. It's kind of strong, so one squirt would honestly be enough for me. Um, so yeah, but this is really good. It says it's made in Italy and it was $7.99. Let me get a picture for the thumbnail. I just finally figured that out. Okay. And the last thing in the Burks haul, their bags still say Burks Outlet. It's this two piece. It was in the pajama section, but y'all, I want to do a try on of this for y'all. I have a lot of pajamas coming from Timu this week, sometimes supposed to be. This is a size small. Before I take the tags off, I'm going to try it on though, because it was $14.99. These are like seersucker shorts. Look how stinking cute. Do y'all think I could wear these? get away with wearing this during the summertime outside i don't know what do y'all think like to go somewhere nice do y'all think i could get away with it because look at this top that goes with the shorts i really don't need any more pajamas but if i could get away with wearing this during the summertime just to go places i think it would be amazing and the top matches the bottoms the only thing I would wear, worry about wearing this out is the white trim going around the bottom of the shorts. But what do y'all think? I really don't know. What do y'all think? So, um, and this was a two-piece set for $14.99. When Nick gets back, he's still gone. Um, I will show you the tractor supply haul. So, I want to run a Dollar Tree. I think we're going to do a... Dollar Tree dinner type meal thing. See if we can start trying to do that. I do have one or two ideas. Um, like I have enough for pizza. I just had to get like one of the ingredients at Walmart. I don't buy Dollar Tree cheese. Um, but they do sell cheese that you can put on pizza there. But I figured we would make pizza from Dollar Tree, not the frozen pizzas. Um, what else did I pick up? We did the, we did do the queso sauce from Dollar Tree. I didn't try it. I'm pretty picky with my cheeses, but Nick did try it and he said it tasted like whiskey. So we won't be picking that up again. Um, but I want to try a few of the things and see, you know, do a taste. I also want to do a taste test, but I also, I've been wanting to try some shakes. I want to do a taste test on the Alani Moo protein shakes. I know they have a few. There is one that I've had before and I don't care for them, but I do want to try some of them. So we may, my Dollar Tree is right by my Walmart. So I might run into Walmart and pick up a few to try out if I feel like going after we get out of Dollar Tree. So we shall see. I may go to Walmart and not Dollar Tree. I may go to one or the other. I may go to both. We shall see. Just pulled up at the bank. I've never seen these before. Biscolato Mood. Thought we would do like a little taste test on these, maybe. 150 calories. There's two servings in a cup. 
Tiffany these to finish off Cooper's goodie bags for his birthday. Thought maybe we'd give this a try. The Carnation Breakfast Essential and Mixed Berry. It sounds nasty, but I think maybe we can give it a go. My store has the Fruity Pebbles, the Trix Oatmeal, and the Cocoa Pebble Oatmeal. The Fruit Loop Cereal Straws. Here are some boosts. I'm not a fan of vanillas. Rich chocolate. Have this one. We'll stick with maybe this one to try. Since we're doing a Dollar Tree video. Let's see. Rich chocolate. We'll try this one as well. I love the iced mocha coffees from Starbucks. I thought we would pick up one to try. So I just left Dollar Tree. I feel like I got a good mix, but I also feel like I stayed in like the same category as like meal replacement. I found some Cliff Bars. I know I really like those. I probably won't even do a taste test on those, but I found like the Dollar Tree brand protein shakes, and then I found like one or two name brand protein shakes that I've never tried. So, and I got some other things that I wanted to try that I saw another channel keeps hauling. So I got that. We're gonna do a taste test on the shakes, I guess. I don't know, would y'all prefer to have a taste test on like one shake at a time? Like say I bought, because I bought the pure protein. Would y'all like just a video for the chocolate pure protein and then me do a video on the Boost Mixed Berry or you know, like, do you want one shorter video for one protein shake or one food item? Or do you want one longer video with, like, a whole category, like, a whole bunch of different protein shakes that I've tried? Because I'm going into Walmart to try the Alani New shakes. I've been wanting to get them, so we're going to try them. Um, like I said, I've tried one or two, but I'm not the biggest fan but let me know what y'all want me to do. Do y'all want a short video with one item per video? I feel like that would be easier in keeping people interested in them. Or do y'all want a longer one? So I did go to Walmart. I had picked up a few things, but I forgot. Mason is not taking the man pacifiers anymore. It was like his favorite. Um, but when I was at Burke's, if it was I don't remember where it was but they had Tommy Tippy pacifiers for $2.99 it was a two-pack he takes Tommy Tippy bottles so I was like I'm gonna let him try this if y'all don't know Mason has really bad acid reflux so anything we can get to keep well help him soothe or keep him from busting I'll pick it up you know um so, oh, sorry. So, this Tommy Tippy pacifier constantly goes missing. We have like 20 man pacifiers, and they've all been used because the man pacifiers were even worse because you couldn't put a clip on them unless they were the man clips. Um, so, I'm kind of glad he's taken the Tommy Tippy now so I can just tie a clip to it. So I forgot to pick up some more Tommy Tippies because we've lost every single one we have in the house. So I'm going to do that real quick and I'm gonna get a clip to put on it. I know some people don't like to buy the clips because it's a choking hazard and things like that, but I'm tired of losing these dang pacifiers and my baby sleeps right next to me at night. Some people don't like that either, but it is what it is and I know that he'll be safe. So, and he really doesn't take a pacifier during the day. It's more at nighttime, so and it just always falls underneath my bed, and I'm tired of it. So, I'm going to pick up some more Tommy Tippy pacifiers.